welcome to the final video for 2023. Uh, in my first uh, swim bait video on Lake Pondere, at the end I said I was going to do four swim bait videos. That, that's not happening. Um, I did that one and I did the second swim bait video the next day. Just didn't, wasn't catching them. I, I ended up drop shotting and uh, I caught a lot of fish drop shotting. I, I'll probably show one or two of those in the video, but I didn't want to put together another drop shot video when it was supposed to be a swim bait video. So uh, that's video number two. It's going to be a short one. Um, this is going to be the last one, number three. And the way I'm going to do this, we're going to be snowing. Uh, I'm recording this on a Sunday morning. Starting tomorrow, I believe, we get a chance of snow um, probably for the rest of the week. So I'm not going to be able to be out there very long. I'm going to go out and I'm going to fish till my hands stop working. And if I'm fishing in what looks like temperature in the 30s with possible snow, I, I don't think I'll make it two hours. But I'll fish as long as I can and then I'll go back and fish again as long as I can. I'll, I'll do it two to three days to try to put together enough video to make a, a video. Um, all drop, all swim bait. I'm not even bringing the drop shot. I want to show you what I bought. I bought a bigger uh, swim bait lure and I'm going to be throwing that uh, this coming week. This is my uh, this is my eight inch swim bait. Now, here's the thing. I'm not a big swim bait guy. Um, the plastic is so thick. I tried to find a, uh, a swim bait jig head with an extra wide gap hook and I, for the life of me, could not find one. So I'm a little concerned about my hookup ratio because the distance between the hook point and the plastic is so small, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to get them, but I'm going to try. And if I'm getting bites on this and I'm not hooking those fish up, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do because I don't know what else to try, what else to do. This may be the way to go. I don't know. Um, but if it's not working for me, I'll show you what my plan B is. This is plan B. <laughs> so this is just an extra wide gap hook that I put in there. I don't like the angle, but at least I've got more distance. And what I'm going to do, if I, if I end up doing this, is I'm going to put a bullet sinker on the line, tie the line to here, so basically when I'm swimming this bait, the weight is going to be right up against this here. That's my plan B. If anybody out there is a swim bait guy and you want to help out a fellow fisherman, tell me where I can get jig heads for swim baits that have a, a, a hook like this, an extra wide gap. Because I looked online, I looked at my local stores, I couldn't find anything. So anyway, um, it's going to be this and it's going to be the, uh, uh, the glide bait. Those are the only two baits I'm bringing. Um, and I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to put together enough footage for one final video and then I'll make the the closing part of this final video will be off the water because I'm going to be miserable out there. I already know. <laughs> I'll do it here at home. Okay, so I'll see you out there. Okay, it's Monday morning and the, uh, the fishing gods have decided they're going to give me one day to make one more video. It's supposed to get up to 50 today. I should be able to stay out here all day. Tomorrow it drops into the 30s, after that it's into the 20s, and I can't do it. So I'm going to try to get enough action here, swim bait action, to put together a video. But first, a couple things. Um, I wanted to congratulate Kyle Grover. He won the uh, Juan Bass U.S. Open. He led all three days. I was reading the story, and um, he, he, uh, he had uh, his smallest fish in the boat on day, the last day was a pound and a half. And he was up on the bow and he saw a smallmouth swim under his boat and he told his uh, amateur partner to drop 
behind the boat. They were drop shot. And his amateur partner caught a two punter. And in those Juan Bass tournaments, the pro and the amateur, they're a team. So they combined their fish. Um, it was a two pounder. He, he culled up from the one and a half to two pound. He culled up eight ounces. He won the tournament by four ounces. Three days of fishing, he won by four ounces. Um, unreal. And he, and he won drop shotting for smallmouth. And oh, the other thing is, I didn't know this. He mentioned Aaron Martins in the article. He said uh, Aaron was his favorite fisherman growing up. And um, it, he's a drop shot guy, I guess. But anyway, I wanted to I wanted to congratulate him on that. That's a big deal. Now, he won between cash and like a boat and a truck or whatever. He won a total of, of $150,000. And I was wondering if he gave his amateur a tip for landing that fish. If it was me, I'd give that guy 10 grand. You know, think about it. The guy could have the line could have broke could have lost the fish you know he could have done a lot of things to not catch that fish and Kyle would have finished second I'm not saying he should have gave him a tip but if it was me I would have gave him 10 grand I don't know what you would do but to me that would be worth it because that's a that's a life-changing event it's like when when somebody wins the Bassmaster Classic they're well known forever uh, you know Davey Height he won it one time he turned it into a career um, same with the U.S. Open. It's a big deal. So, okay, uh, let's see. The other thing, um, I've got uh, four baits. I got the, the regular six-inch swim bait. I got the big eight-inch swim bait, which I'm going to throw first. I've got uh, the glide bait, and then I've got the top water. I'm not going to probably throw top water at all, um, but I'm going to stay out here. I'm going to use a net because i got to keep my hands dry or you know I won't last as long so I'm gonna net my fish and that way I don't have to stick my hand in the water and uh, that's it uh, I'm not weighing my fish today this is just gonna be you know video catching fish um, if I catch a <laughs> a giant I know I'm really bad at this but if, if I think he's five pounds uh, I'll maybe weigh him but he's gonna have to be like really big and obviously you know, pushing five. Otherwise, I'm not going to weigh my fish. Okay, enough talking. Let's go fishing. I just had one hit it, but it's probably too small. Now, I've had several bites on that big bait, and I don't know, maybe they're too small. I couldn't get a hook in them. So I'm going to throw the six inch here just as an experiment. And uh, if I catch one, See, just see how big they are. They just might not be big enough. I just had one follow me right to the boat. Wouldn't eat it though. I'm thinking this might be too big. <laughs> I'll keep trying. I'll tell you one thing, I'm having withdrawals. See that? Um, I know what it feels like, I think now, for someone to have an addiction and they're trying to get clean and then they go through withdrawals. You know, I left my drop shot rods at home and I'm looking down on my graph and I'm seeing these big old arches feeding on crawdads right on the bottom. And I know I'm fishing right over them. <laughs> and I'm having withdrawals, but luckily I left those rods at home so I can't be tempted. Just missed one, he hit it right at the boat. Quality fish. He was. Well, let's say three plus. Okay, here we go. Okay, threw that thing for an hour and a half. Had two follow me to the boat, one hit it at the boat, but I missed them. I had probably four or five. I was reeling in and I could feel the tick, but the rod never even loaded up, so they just hit it. Uh, I'm going to go through the same water with the glide bait. The wind's really starting to blow now. Uh, but that's okay. I mean that glide bait, I have those lead pieces on there to get it just below the surface. So I'm going to go through the exact same water.
guy here. He's a lot more effective than that that eight inch swim bait. I've had I had one follow me. I had a big one. I mean a big. One. It would a weight was a weighable fish. Came up. It was on the right near the top, and then he swam away. And this guy, I've been doing throwing it for ten minutes. this I'll tell you one thing <laughs> you know fishing is confidence I threw that big swim bait for an hour and a half didn't catch a fish had had one hit it at the boat one follow it I've been fishing this 15 minutes I got two fish really had a, a, a giant I mean way up a weighable fish come up uh, another one follow it I lost one 15 minutes so I may never throw that other swim bait again I have zero confidence in it now because I fished this exact same water and, you know so I know they're here one that's my best one yep that's a good fish that is a good one I don't have my net come here come here Ugh. should I weigh him I'm gonna weigh him I'm gonna weigh him he he's fat he's been eating good come on ah. yeah I'm gonna weigh him what the hell hang on buddy B. 
big boy for today so far that that bait I've been throwing it 45 minutes I don't know how many I got but I've had several bites there's one spot over there that's got a school on it but I don't want to just fish the one spot so I'm fishing all of this area and uh, anyway that was a good one <laughs> gonna weigh him but he's a good one come here buddy should I weigh him well the last one was what four and a half yeah I'm gonna weigh him how you doing pal no, don't you don't you do it don't even think about it did you come loose I think you did I'll be damned if you did. Oh, he's pulling. This is a good fish. This is uh, this is the six-inch swim bait. It got really rough out here, and uh, oh, come here, buddy. I go. No, I don't. No, I don't. Yes, I do. I'm not gonna weigh him, but my hands are are starting to fail me. Um. It's almost time to go home, but I caught, I think I got that one on this camera. That, yeah, that other one, I had to take it down. See you, pal. Uh, it got so rough, I was afraid I was gonna go in and the camera was really rocking. So uh, the rest of this uh, will be uh, the GoPro and uh, I'll close this out at home where I can relax. <laughs> I'm going home. <laughs> I'll, uh, I think I caught enough to make a video. I'll, I'll, I'll close this out uh, when I get home. And uh, it's hard to believe, but it's, it's quite possible I will not be bass fishing for the next five months. That's why I hate to leave, but I gotta go. Okay, that's it for 2023. Uh, I haven't checked the tape yet, the video, but I think I caught a limit, and I caught a couple of nice ones. So, um, I, yeah, it's starting, uh, I mean, 
Today was fishable in terms of temperature, no problem. It got real windy. Uh, and my only real concern was this camera was just, I was afraid it was gonna come off. So anyway, uh, that's it. I'm not doing any more this year. Uh, there's a good chance my boat's gonna sit in the garage now for five months. But I'm gonna do it next year. I'm gonna come back if, you know, if I'm able. If I'm still here, if I'm physically able, if I can do it, I'm going to do it. Um, you know, when you do a, when you when you give back, or you you pay it forward. Some people call it pay for. There's a price you pay usually, whether it's money, time. You know, uh, giving back usually requires a sacrifice. Well, in my case, when I fished Idaho, um, I was going to fish it anyway. So time and money wasn't a sacrifice. My giving back was, my, my sacrifice for giving back was my privacy. I'm a real private person. And the last thing I ever thought I would be doing is sharing my fishing on social media. Um, but I sacrificed that part of my life to, to give back, you know, to honor Aaron. Um, and it turns out I really like doing this. In fact, when I go fishing now without my cameras, I feel like something's missing. You know, it's like, uh, and this uh, this deal where I'm trying to catch a limit on a, on a strange body of water, it just gives it a little more uh, a different twist to it and makes it fun. And so, uh, yeah, I'm doing it. I'm coming back next year if I can. Uh, I'm gonna make a list to try to find lakes I haven't fished. I may have to drive a little longer to do that. Um, I'm also going to probably fish lakes, uh, spring lake, springtime. I've, I'm gonna fish lakes I've already fished, but not in the spring, you know, get, uh, for a different look. Uh, may go back to Sprague, because that was fun. Uh, but anyway, I'm gonna put a list together this winter and try to figure out, you know, where to go. And I'll be back. I'll be back in uh, probably May, maybe April, but probably May. So until then, I'll, I'll talk to you later. Enjoy your winter.